you make of sort of the, the maybe a little bit of the conviction as we head into the end of the day and the end of the weekend? Is this more serious buyers stepping in, dipping their toes into this market? Hi, Taylor. It's nice to be here on an up week for the markets. It's been um, few and far between for that. Uh, but what that does frequently, as you're pointing out, is create some opportunities. People start to sharpen their pencils and say, you know, how much is overdone? Where can I find some opportunity in here? Um, but I do think we might have one more shoe to drop with earnings, but um, we've seen a lot of washout and a lot of high quality names across the board. It's just been a sea of red. And I think that's creating opportunities. And when people take a deep breath, they're, they're starting to find them. That's what we're starting to see in the markets uh, this past week. Terry, broadly speaking, where are those opportunities? Where are the best discounts right now, so to speak? Well, yeah, thanks for that, Katie. I mean, I think that there's a lot of opportunities, but I think you want to be careful. You know, there's still some minds that are out there also. I do think that we, um, that there's a high probability that we're in a recession right now, and that's the bad news. The good news is that markets tend to lead. And so if we're, if we're sort of already in a recession, you're starting to see opportunities. I think the high flyers in technology, there's still going to be a lot of volatility, but if you look at consumer staples, if you look at financials, you can buy some of the best names in the financial area for prices we haven't seen in terms of valuation in ages, six, 12 months from now, you'll be happy that you that you've picked those up.